Desalination, not a word that you hear every day, but because you live in California, you've probably heard about it. Just in case you don't know, desalination is the process of changing salty seawater into fresh water that humans can use and consume. So why is it important to California? The drought is still the biggest issue facing our state, so solutions beyond conservation are being more readily researched. One of these solutions is desalination. There are two major processes for desalination. One is called the multi-stage flash method. The salt water is heated rapidly and water vapor is collected, leaving behind the salt. The other way, called reverse osmosis, requires salt water to be pushed through a semi-permeable membrane, leaving the salt on one side and fresh water on the other. Let's go back to California, specifically San Diego. Right now, a $1 billion reverse osmosis desalination plant is being built on the coast. The Carlsbad desalination plant will supply water to only San Diego. This plant will pump 100 million gallons of seawater per day and change it into 50 million gallons of drinking water. That's a lot of water, right? This may seem like a good idea, but really it's not as good as it seems. The Carlsbad desalination plant will only make up about 7% of San Diego's total water supply. A billion dollars for 7%? Again, seems fine, but not really. Even though the desalination plant will continue to produce 7% a year, the San Diego population will grow, decreasing the impact that this water will have. This project will not be completed until 2016. San Diego needs water now, but desalination is too expensive and slow to make an impact. Later in this video, I will talk about some alternatives. Cost and time are issues, and there are environmental problems as well. A study by the Institute of Ocean Technology and Marine Affairs found that desalination plants have an overall negative impact on the environment. For example, desalination is an energy intensive process, so a lot of greenhouse gases are emitted in order to run the plant. Because water is being pumped out of the ocean, changes in ocean currents and waves occur. Fish and other large marine organisms can get caught in the pumps, killing the majority of them. Releasing the salt that is removed from the water back into the ocean increases salinity, causing problems for the marine environment. Vibration and the noise from the plant causes animals to shy away. In addition, these desalination plants are large coastal facilities that interfere with the landscape, making it an eyesore for beachgoers. Despite these facts, large-scale desalination plants like the Carlsbad plant are still being discussed in California. Fourteen facilities are being proposed along the state's coastline. Unfortunately, this method cannot solve our water issues unless the process is improved. Instead of spending a lot of money and hurting the environment, we can build smaller solar power desalination plants that are less invasive and less expensive. We should also use the money for new desalination plants on a state-wide water recycling plan. And as always, we can reduce our own personal water use, conserving water every day. Desalination is generally a good idea, but on a large scale, it is too expensive, takes too long to get up and running, hurts the environment, and is just not a reasonable solution for our water scarcity issue. Instead of relying on these harmful facilities, let's focus on drought solutions that will not create more problems for the environment and our wallets. Stop wasting time and money on harmful desalination facilities. Vote to support monetarily and environmentally conscious projects that will bring us water fast. Check out more information in these websites to learn about water recycling, solar powered desalination, and how to make your own personal desalination device. Thank you for watching.